Nathan, it seems strange to be sat here with no game to talk about and then a blank Saturday. So what does, yeah. a, what does a footballer do on when he's not... It's rising? quite strange. It's our second one this season now. Um, you just try and fill your time with bits and bobs. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a nice refreshment to, you know, have a weekend to yourself and whatnot. But, you know, you've you got to keep yourself fit, keep yourself active. And so, you know, we're raring to go for, for next week. Just looking back to last Saturday, it was a bit of a frustrating afternoon for a striker, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was one of them games. I mean, Woking is a very, very tough um, side this season, and uh, at home, their, their their home record is, you know, it's one of, it's one of the top in the league. So uh, we knew it was going to be a hard, a hard game. But as a striker, yeah, it was quite, it's quite frustrating not, not having that killer ball or, or that um, that little bit of luck from the referee or whatever to to get the, um, the goal. I was say those two Matty Taylor goals that were chalked off for offside, looking at them again, it looks as though should, at least one of them should have been allowed, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, the first one, um, it came into me and then their, their defender basically tackled me and uh, and got it into him. So it was a great free ball from him um, and Matty finished it, but the referee said it came off me, whatever. Um, and then the second one, it was, you know, I got it down and got it over to Matty and he did look onside from the replays. Just, uh, you knew before you went out that Barnet had lost it to Grimsby. Uh, did that have any impact at all on, on your performance? Did, did, you, did you put that to the back of your mind? Or? No, or if they'd won, we'd still have to go out and win. If they'd lost, we'd still have to go out and win. You know, They're still ahead of us, so we've still got to get those points back. Um, it, it's an incentive, maybe, but it's, it, it doesn't change our, our, mind, our mindset. Um, your next game's away as well. It's just uh, frustrating you can't get, get anyone back at the moment. Man. I know, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure I'll be back at the moment for a while. Uh, Maybe no, February. 7th, 7th of Feb. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, when, when we get back, it's going to be a full house, I'm, I'm hoping. Uh, but, yeah, our, our away form has been decent so far, um, since I've been here anyway. Uh, we've picked up points and um, we'll just look to do the same again. And you have made inroads into that lead that Barnett had anyway, haven't you? With, with uh, exactly, you yeah. I'm not sure. I think it's five now. Yeah, is it five? So... You know, a couple of games here and there. Something might happen. You never know. So you just got to keep chipping away at it and see what happens. And well, I guess they're probably looking over their shoulder, having suffered two successive defeats. Yeah, I mean, they'll, they'll have to rectify that some somewhat because we're not going to let up at all. You know, we're 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 going all the way to the end of the season, and you know, that's what that's what we're hoping for. And by the same token, the clubs looking to catch Rovers as well, aren't they? I mean, Grimsby. Yeah, to be Rovers. fair, uh, we've got to keep our uh, eye on ourselves. You know. Um, I think Macclesfield, uh, I think they're only two, three points behind us now. Um, and yeah, Grimsby and, and whatnot. Um, so we've got to make sure we, we stay, you know, foot on the gas um, 100% to the end of the season. Your old club are creeping up into the playoffs as well, aren't they? Yeah, I, I keep a look at them and uh, keep an eye on them and whatnot. Yeah, they're doing well so far. They've brought in some new signings as well. So um, if, if we meet him in the playoffs, we meet him in the playoffs. But I, I just want to hope and, you know, pray we get uh, title contention. Got playing in the league first. Uh, yeah, <laughs> got there. That's a game you're looking forward to, I guess. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, if I, I if I score the goals, I score the goals. It's, you know, it's not a problem for me. Um, I'm Rovers now, so that's that's what I'm looking forward to. Uh, Daryl brought in a, a new striker last week, uh, Jermaine Easter, a very experienced striker. Is, he's seemed to have fitted well into the squad. Is he someone you think you can learn from? Definitely. I mean. <laughs> First training session I had with him, he was uh, hitting it top corner, left, right, you know, he was just doing all, all, all the things that I want to be able to bring to my game um, consistently. So I'll definitely be able to learn stuff from, from him. You know, he's been in the league for a while now and he's been he's been around uh, big clubs as well, so definitely. And he, he just seems to have slotted into the squad, no areas of graces about him at all. He just, uh, just come in and got on with it. Yeah, exactly. He's a true professional, too fair to him. He, he, he knows what he has to do before training. Um, after a match, after training, he does his own bits to, to make sure he's ready. So, you know, it's, it's, it's good to just take little bits from, from players like that. And some keen competition for striking places now, and the four of you essentially for, for two places. Do you welcome that competition? Definitely, yeah, because, you know, um, in anything, if you get too comfortable, you become, you know, uh, complacent. So, it's good to have someone just there, you know, knowing that you could not be playing next game. So, you've got to put your all in and, and you know, help the team. How would you rate your Rovers career so far? It's a short one, obviously, but I mean... So far, um, I say it started off with a bang. I think it fizzled slightly, but um, uh, I've, I'm, I'm getting back into it after the injury and whatnot, and um, I'm just looking to push on again now.